Hello everyone, welcome to Buildium tutorial for beginners. My name is Jana Cristo and today I am going to show you how to advertise a property and screen a tenant. So far in the previous videos we went over how to add a property, how to add a, an owner, um, uh, set up the company, set up ePay and the bank balances. Um, today um, I will show you how to lease a property and how to screen a tenant. So uh, everything connected with leasing, tenant screening and writing a lease, renewing a lease is going to be under leasing. So the first thing you, you want to do is click on listing. Okay, um, under listed unit, meaning units that are actively on the market, we have nothing because we haven't advertised anything. So we need to go under and click on unlisted unit. And then we see one, um, we have one property and it's showing vacant because we don't have a tenant there so we want to, to list the unit okay you can add video you can add photos here I'm just going to leave one photo on the where it says listing detail um, you want to enter the rent and the deposit and when it's available and all of these things are going to show up on the websites that syndicate with Buildium. And here the account contact, this is going to be the contact that shows in all the websites where the property is syndicated to including Zillow, um, Trulia and others okay and as you can see here there is um, here you can enter unit detail and property and you have unit and property because um, if you have a pro uh, multifamily then you're gonna list the property detail for all the units here and then um, the unit and be, because we are advertising a single family everything is going to go on the unit and I'm not going to do, just do bedrooms and bathrooms and size okay and you can write description you need to enter information in all these um, areas because all of it is going to transfer to um, the um, real estate portals. Um, so what we want to do is post the listing. Okay. Okay. So, so far what we did is we posted the listing on our public website. And um, I'm going to show you how to set up that at separate video, but just to, um, I'm, I want to show you how to turn it on first. Uh, you can go to communications, communication, I'm sorry, uh, and public, click on public site. So this is where you turn on your public website, uh, this button right here. Um, you can customize it to fit your branding and colors, but that will be the subject of a different video. I just wanted to show you uh, where, it, when you list your property, where it's going to show up right here. And tenants can come to this web, the applicants can come to this site and apply right here. So I've listed my rental property on my website, but I want to also syndicate it to other major uh, real estate portal. So what I want to do is click, uh, I'm in listings right now. 
So I want to click on listing settings and you have to do this just one time when you're starting. And here, um, because Zillow group and um, apartments.com charge for certain properties, um, ap apartments.com charge for certain properties over uh, five units, and Zillow uh, started charging for all listing all rental properties. So initially, um, you need to email uh, ticket support at Buildium to get started and um, set up the feed with Zillow and apartment that's the apartment dot com so they'll tell you how um, you should do that um here is basically how this works this is zillow video work of millions of renters with zillow feed connect the simple feed solution for listing your properties built with a professional property manager in mind zillow feed connect enables a seamless posting experience to reach high intent renters Simply push rental listings across the entire Zillow rental network, allowing you to effectively broadcast at scale. Zillow Feed Connect syndicates listings from third-party rental platforms, so you can spend less time posting and more time connecting with tenants. So this is uh, how it works. You don't have to do any extra work. You just need to set it up um, initially. And once you do that, well, I'll click save. Once you do that, your listings uh, will syndicate to all all the portals that were listed there. Realtor.com um, is not part of this. Um, you need, to, if you want to get listed on Realtor.com, you need to go straight to them. Um, and or if you're listing in the MLS, they will pick up the uh, listing directly. So this is it for listing. Um, the next, uh, I want to go over how uh, the tenant will find you and apply. So how can an applicant find your application and how can they apply? Um, go to the leasing tab and uh, click on applicants. There are a couple of different ways uh, an applicant can apply. Um, if you're meeting the applicant at the property, you may want to print a blank application right here um, and they can fill it out and um, in, you can create, manually create an applicant here. And once you do that, you have the options of running a tenant uh, screening. So after you look over the um, application, you can decide if that's worth it. So um, you can run uh, basic tenant screening here. So another way an applicant can um, apply is go directly to your public website or um, Zillow and other uh, portals. They, they allow you to have a link to your application as well. So that would be a more automatic way to apply. And here's how you can run basic tenant screening right here. Um, there two different ways you can set up your company with Buildium to screen tenants. First way is without office visit and verification. And the way this works is um, the tenant, you run a credit check or the tenant applies for um, directly from your website they will receive a email that asks them to approve uh, you to have access to their credit. So, and once they do that, you, it's, it's, 
instantaneously you see their credit report, background check, and eviction. You can um, ask them to pay for the credit check. You can have an application fee or you can pay it pay for it yourself and the first option is more common $30 is a very low fee for an application in my experience so when you ask the tenants to pay $30 or more you can adjust this um, you still at the end of the month, when whenever you pay your billion fee, they will charge you fifteen dollars for that credit check, and you collect thirty or more, whatever you set uh, this fee to be. Um, you, um, I forgot to mention, you can also adjust the application. You can add things to the application. You can change it to suit your the way you work. And so this is one way um, you can have your company set up, which is more common for small companies, small, small property management companies or, or uh, landlords. And the second way is to have somebody, uh, have an appointment for somebody to come to your office and check the security of your files. And if you do that one step, um, it's not a big thing. Um, you don't uh, you don't have to um, wait for the tenant to approve for you to see their credit. You just get the credit immediately. So, so those are the two ways that um, you can run um, credit and. One thing I should mention about TransUnion and um, Smart Move is you not only get the credit score, uh, the background and eviction report, but you also get a, a recommendation whether you should approve the tenant or not or approve with conditions. I find from personal experience that that was very helpful for me in the beginning when I started my property management company. In the next video, um, I will go over how to create leases. Once you accept the tenant, how to create an electronic lease. and how to set up a template, how to create the template so you don't have to constantly be uploading leases or changing them so it will be a um, much easier process. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to get notified when a new video is uploaded.